everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort, and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control them most of it. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Second. Wow. How long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. I 
thought women were the ones who kept men waiting. X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. You still have this. I guess it's just on my person. It was a spur of the moment purchase. A joke. Well, it works because I forgave you for picking me up in one of those. Authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading. Visitors that confirms must very I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. It's not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. How 
soon till it's ready. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat. But neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's got big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced it in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find a loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest of encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every day. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. This man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. I've been to get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. You need to know what's happening, Adam. Use my elevator. Hurry up, Adam. Code is 0451. Pritchard, where's Meg? Did she report in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's right. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Pritchard? Pritchard! Before you can do anything, you must be able to get around. The first move you'll want to learn is the crouch. 
It will allow you to get into small spaces such as air vents, or to hide behind low objects so you can move about unnoticed. Jumping on objects or ladders is essential for getting to those hard to reach places. Sometimes going high or low is not enough. Sometimes you just need to go fast. You'll only be able to sprint for a few seconds at a time though, so use it wisely. Some objects in the environment can be picked up and moved. Use them to create paths to inaccessible areas, or as portable cover during a firefight. You can also throw them at the enemy if need be. When the lead starts to fly, it's wise to take cover. This will protect you from bullets and explosives. To shoot, peek out from behind your cover spot, either to the side or from above. Then take aim and fire. Whenever possible, use cover when moving around. Line of sight is important. And by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't get a bead on you.
severe hematoma. We need to repair that artery. Thank God, how thick was the glass? enough people today. I'm sorry. For a second. His body can take it. Adam, it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Jensen, good to have you back, man. I can't tell you how... I believe you were to hear you were going to make it. What do you mean? The least we can do is remind everyone of the sacrifices our scientists made for this company, for the world. Yeah, it's the reminding part that bothers me. I've been in therapy for months trying to forget this. Seeing the bodies coming out all burned up like that? I wasn't there, but I heard it was gruesome. Megan, Eric, Vasily, the whole team gone in one awful flash. How could this have happened? The how is not important anymore. We need to honor them by being true to their vision. Show those terrorists that they can't stop us from finishing the job. Not everyone was so lucky, I'm huh? sorry. I can't imagine how. Jensen? Isn't it a bit early to toss him back into the trenches? I hear he's almost fully recovered. His body accepted augmentations with remarkable ease, but that doesn't mean his mind did. We all know what happened when he moved his squad. The Mexican town massacre wasn't his fault. Then why was he kicked off the force? I'm just saying he's too much of a risk.
Lawrence. Welcome back, Mr. Uh, Jensen. Didn't hear the you coming. Suits you. you should probably be heading for the helipad, don't you think? I'll get there. But I thought I'd better clear up a few things first about my current mental state. Heard that, did you? Look, I'm sorry. It's just that what happened to you was horrible. Most people don't recover this fast. And you think sitting at home and obsessing over it is the better way to go? Of course not. It's just things have been pretty rough around here, Jensen. The last thing any of us needs is more funerals. Agreed. Oh, and by the way, that Mexican town massacre was a complete bohica. But I wasn't fired because of it. I quit. There's a difference? Yeah. A little thing called integrity. You might want to look it up someday. You had your good luck tonight. And I learned my lesson. I think it was too much of a risk. I mean, it's a miracle he didn't die in that operation. He looks fine to me. That's not the point. Those additional implants, the tracking system, <laughs> and whatever else David put inside him, it was unnecessary. The body can only take so much when it's on life support. Well, obviously David felt that after the attacks, it was important to him. security is someone there no. this is just another example of David going too far you could be right how do you think Jensen would react if he knew how close he came to death hard to say anyway we should get back to work Hostage takers now. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but everybody up against the wall. I'm just saying, the only reason people are at the plant tonight is because we've been forced to work so much overtime ever since the first attacks. Good point. No one was supposed to be there, so maybe it's just a break in gone bad. Mr. Jensen, you're looking well. Did you come in to find out about the break-in? I'm sure Athena and Mr. Seraph know what's going on. Jensen? I didn't think you'd... Oh, wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... You said everyone's been moved around? Almost everyone. Who are you looking for? Has my office been moved? No, sir. You still have that great view of the lobby. Mr. Pritchard wanted it, but Mrs. Margulis put a stop to that. Up two floors and make a right. I need to get to Seraph's office. Oh, he and Mrs. Margulis are still in the penthouse. You can use the elevator at the left wing of the building to get there. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I... I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment shoved in it. Mr. Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. 
I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. Thank you for holding. Hello, Mr. Jensen. I didn't know you were coming back. So soon, I mean. My God. Adam Jensen? Shouldn't you still be in a hospital somewhere? I can't believe Mr. Sarap has called you in from your sickbed. We're under attack Adam. again? Jensen. I'm getting the flu. Frank tells me he's still waiting for you, Adam. You don't have time to mess around. Get to the tech lab. Or something seriously bad is gonna happen. As soon as I can. Okay, bye. Adam, you're in today too? Do you know what's happening at the manufacturing plant? Some kind of break. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data, too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list. But Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. Stay out of the ladies' restroom.
as enjoyable as this little chit chat. Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. Vandals with guns and bullets that kill people. Look, David cares about his people, but he needs to protect his clients' interests. Don't worry, I'm sure he's got a plan. Adam? Jensen? Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Sorry, Mr. Jensen. I'm really disappointed. Your reaction is not great. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been tough not having a lot of sleep lately. Especially when you attend the last attack. What do you do? No, they could have been a lot more forthcoming. I know the security protocols are heavy, but we have no choice. Look what's going on at the plant right now. You're right, but it's not just the isolation. It's a lack of leadership. Megan held everyone together so well. She was always the voice of reason. I miss Megan too, Ted. That's why I make it a point to fight through the stress and try to finish the work she started. You're right. I know. It's just... We're under attack again? Sometimes it feels like we're hanging on to the Jensen. Goddamn, it's good to see you up and around, so... This is my job, all right? I don't have to defend anything. I'm sorry, Mr. Jensen, I'm really busy. The media is looking for reactions on the break-in, and Lyle's got me fact-checking for him. We've got to be extra careful. Hey, Adam, you're back. Great to see you. Wow, so you really did a number on you. Christ, Adam, while you were strolling around the offices, the situation got worse. Meet me in the chopper, I'll explain.
Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Eight people, Adam. Eight good men and women whose only crime was to come to work today. And those so-called pro-human purists slaughtered them. All of them? You sure? If we're lucky, the plant manager might still be alive, Josie Thorpe. They needed her to get into the administration wing. But SWAT isn't holding out much hope for her survival. We'll see about that. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? I told you. Pro-human purists. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. They broke in a few hours ago, right after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam, I, uh... I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That, that's him there. But he is an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. Didn't have a problem killing innocent people, though. Yeah. And he did know exactly how to get inside the plant. So how do you want me to handle him? I don't. Not right away. Your first priority is to recover the Typhoon. I can't let SWAT inside until you've got it. But as far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not looking to start a firefight in there. Just neutralize them. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight and closed hallways. But the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So you want something you can use from a distance or up close? Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Frank will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for Josie. Now free her if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the outfit agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact, and still a secret. Well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing.
lives. Guaranteed any secrets in there. Stay hushed now. You make me sick. At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You can move inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon, change grenade type, or use an item. Simply press the keyboard key associated with the slot in which the desired item resides. You can swap the content of a slot in and out as you please by accessing the inventory screen. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books you read on your journey. The map is a helpful tool that allows you to see where you are in relation to your objectives. Useful locations such as merchants and limb clinics are also marked. The augmentation trees are where you can spend experience points to upgrade augmentations you own. Simply select an augmentation and choose which upgrade you want to buy. Upgrading augmentations can be done anywhere, at any time. About freaking time. SI security? Yeah, name's Jensen. I know. You used to be on team two till that Mexican town thing went down. I guess the more things change, the more they stay the same, don't they? Meaning what? Meaning corpses seem to follow you around. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can get your people some justice. I'm gonna need some intel before I head in. Fine. What do you want to know? How many purists am I looking at down there? I don't have an exact number. So far, we've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe a dozen or so inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. Realistically, how much time do I have before you guys breach? According to protocol, none. According to your boss, so far the press hasn't found out about the murders, but I can't guarantee that someone somewhere isn't going to let it slip. And when that happens... That almost sounds like a threat, Commander. It's not. But you didn't hear the phone call, Jensen. Eight innocent civilians screaming for help while choking to death on poison gas. And all we could do was stand here and listen. So, anything else you want to know? The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycled military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his augs made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out.
is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air, air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it. You'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. close you to the helipad. Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Only one. Roger that. The boss is already on... I told for it. Fine. But goes by the name of Sanders. That's him there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the typhoon. I'm keeping. I'm not. Uh, you remember what it's like in there? Give me. The typhoon should be in the. Terrific. Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the type... Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling... SI Security. Jensen. Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You'd know more about that than I would. Anything else? You look pretty dug in up here. What's the react team plan? We got Alpha as point and Bravo as wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, 
The sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. Intel on these people. How much you... They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours and- You mean he's augmented? He used to be augmented. Says his augs made him do- How many? Hard to say. We spoke- That shouldn't be possible. I told Sarah- I think I've- You sure? I- Like we- Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. The hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. The hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Backup might be right around the corner. If you have no other choice, try taking out your targets silently by moving up behind them and tapping the takedown button to put them to sleep. Killing them is a more permanent solution, but also involves making more noise. To do it, simply hold the takedown button. Whether you kill or stun, all takedowns burn up energy. If your energy bar is empty, you will not be able to use your augmentations. You can, however, replenish your energy cells through the consumption of nutrients. Regardless, don't leave bodies lying out in the open. If they are found, an alarm will be called in. So grab them and drag them out of the way. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. No sign of anyone. Being stealthy hinges on sight and sound. Crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise possible. Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover,
You'll stand a better chance that enemies won't detect you. Avoid jumping and sprinting, as it will certainly give away your position. being stealth
Pritchard, I'm in. The door worked just fine. I'm happy for you. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. something before the cops bust in. Who's that? Try to get me now. Damn hands are lovers in their techno babble. There has to be something here.
hope Zeke's having better luck. These goddamn hands are lovers in their fictional battles. Anybody seen D Rad? Probably smoking a cigarette. Why? He shouldn't be wandering off like that. See, once it's all on full alert. What for? The popos ain't coming in here. Not while we're holding all the cards. No shit. You see Zeke when that hands are never sneaked up? 
Never see no one twitch that fast. He's gonna get us out of this. Not if those popos catch us blazing. So split up. Someone there? Who's there? <laughs> Anybody seen D-Rag? Probably smoking a cigarette. Why? You shouldn't be wandering off like that. What's it all on full alert? What I for? Popos ain't coming in here. Not my business. You see Zeke with that hand on his sneak up? Never see no one twitch that fast. He's gonna get us out of this. Not if those popos catch us blazing. Split up. Stay out of here, pigs. We got hostage.
Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries, so you can access the security codes within. To do it, you must navigate the network, capturing nodes as you go along. You begin a hack from your point of entry in the system, the I.O. port. To capture a node, simply place the cursor over it and hold the interaction button. A wheel will appear, showing you the programs that can be used against it. Traveling from node to node is accomplished using bridges. A bridge can be unidirectional or bidirectional, as shown by its arrows. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher a node's rating, the greater the likelihood that you will be detected. If detected, don't panic. You still have a chance, you just need to hurry. The network will try to trace your entry point and boot you out of the system. If you manage to capture the registries before the network trace reaches your I.O. port, you'll be okay. Access granted. Calling me a big No way, no way! I am not going to prison for this! Hate to tell you this, Trev, but once that bomb goes off, this guy won't be the last skinner in here with fire. Shut up, j -Row. Trevor, you gotta calm down. Help me find something to cover him up with. I'm telling you, man, these hands of lovers deserve what's coming to them. Must have been the wind coming out of your mouth. Ain't nothing here. You killed him, man! He asked for it. Kept calling me a big... No way, no way! I am not going to prison for this! Hate to tell you this, Trev, but once that bomb goes off, this guy won't be the last skinner in here with fire. Shut up, j -Row. Trevor, you gotta calm down. Help me find something to cover him up with. I'm telling you, man, these hands of lovers deserve what's coming to them.
Christ, you killed him, man. He asked for it. Kept calling me a big. No way, no way. I am not going to prison for this. Hate to tell you this, Trev, but once that bomb goes off, this guy won't be the last skinner in here who buys it. Shut up, J-Ro. Trevor, you gotta calm down. Help me find something to cover him up with. I'm telling you, man, these hands of lovers deserve what's coming to them. Jesus Christ, you killed him, man! He asked for it. He kept calling me a big... No way, no way! I am not going to prison for this! I hate to tell you this, Trev, but once that bomb goes off, this guy won't be the last skinner in here who buys it. Shut up, J-Ro. Trevor, you gotta calm down. Help me find something to cover him up with. I'm telling you, man, these hands of lovers deserve what's coming to them.
Use the door. Where are the police? Stay out of here. Don't kill us. Is someone out They'll there? They'll set the bomb off. You'll trigger it. Have mercy. Please. Where's the bomb squad? Hurry! Where's the bomb squad? Save us! Get out of here! Where's the bomb squad? Hurry! Save us! Where's the bomb squad? Access granted. Automated dispersal device deactivated. Countdown terminated. Have a nice day. Pritchard, get word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe. And they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Seraph, but don't take too long. Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plan's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie, Josie Thorpe. They said they needed her to open the administration building. They were looking for evidence of some kind. Please, I haven't seen her since. You have to find her. I'll do my best, but right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do that? Yes, of course, but please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top-secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. I think she may be in the administration. That was what took you so long? Thank God, you know, where the cops are? Right.
After guards, security systems will be your prime area of concern, as they will trigger alarms that bring about heightened security. Trying to destroy these devices is a bad idea. Try instead to get around them. By timing your moves properly, you should be able to do so relatively easily. If an alarm does sound, guards will start looking for you. Fortunately, they won't sustain this level of alertness for long. Eventually, they will believe you fled the area and the alarm level will drop. Someone was here. Coming in here to dig up shit is one thing, but to take innocent people hostage? Keep it down, man. No one's taking anyone hostage. So why do we lock them workers up in assembly room one? To make them feel comfy? Mike, just wait for Zeke's order. All I'm saying is I ain't trying to shoot up anyone who ain't aiming at me. You hear? Who's that?
shortage. The first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering if something else may be going on. Is David Sarah hiding something? For tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pikin. Nah, man, this shit ain't right. Coming in here to dig up shit is one thing. Back now to that breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about the situation, but sources tell me that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided a Seraf Industries plant. Factory workers have been taken hostage, and the entire city holds its collective breath. I doubt I need to remind you folks that this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. The first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering if something else may be going on. Is David Sarah hiding something? For tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pike. Back now to that break breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about the situation, but sources tell me that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided a Seraph Industries plant. Factory workers have been taken hostage, and the entire city holds its Access granted. Is lying to us like that, just like Zeke said. I hope Zeke knows what he's doing. Me too, man. Me too. I don't know about the hacker dude. He, he seems off or something. Yeah, it feels weird. Like
In order to unlock new abilities or augmentations, you must first gain experience in the form of XP points. You will receive these points when completing main objectives, side quests, or through special bonuses, like completing a mission without being detected. Once you've accumulated enough XP points, you will receive a Praxis point. These points are used to unlock upgrades to existing augmentations, and to unlock entirely new augmentations. Praxis kits, which can be found through exploration or purchased in limb clinics, will also give you instant Praxis points. To unlock an augmentation or upgrade, simply select it in the augmentation screen, check the cost, and, if you have enough Praxis points, activate it. Some of the obstacles that can be circumvented by hacking include turrets, cameras, and robots. All you need to do is find a security hub controlling these obstacles and hack it. Capture and Fortify programs are your main hacking tools. You can upgrade their ratings via hacking augmentations. A node's rating affects the speed at which the network can process it. Therefore, higher rated nodes will slow the network down. You can slow it down further by fortifying nodes, which will increase their effective rating. You can also use a slow worm to stop the trace process entirely for a few seconds. Finally, to prevent detection when taking over nodes, you can use the Nuke virus, which gives you a 0% detection chance. The Nuke and Stop programs are expendable viruses. Their supplies are limited, so use them wisely. A counter in the top right corner of the screen helps you keep track of them. When hacking, there are three types of nodes to capture. Directories are meaningless data holders. They serve no purpose other than to allow you to travel to your destination. APIs are system functions that can be used against the network. They can slow it down by spamming it, or they can lower node ratings to make them easier for you to capture. Data stores contain valuable information that can result in money, programs, or even experience points. Any reward you find on the system will only be yours if you succeed in hacking it. Otherwise, rewards cannot be downloaded and will remain on the system. Aside from cameras and doors, you will not be able to shut down any security device until you get the right augmentation upgrade.
Access granted. Step away from the console. Now! would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub. In case it's booby trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them.
Now to that breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about the situation, but sources tell me that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided the sheriff's and police department. Factory workers have been
Access granted. 